All right, so tonight's story is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yeah. Which is on page... 49. 152. 152. All right, let's see. Where is it? You gotta go pretty far in. All right, there we are. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Hold the book. Once upon a time, there was a cottage in the forest that belonged to a family of bears. Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Wee Baby Bear. Each morning, the three bears made their beds, tidied their house. Can I, can I, can I finish reading? Tidied their house and ate their breakfast together at the table. One particular morning... Mama Bear made, honey, I can't, I can't read it when you're moving it. You have to keep it still. Let it go. You can. One particular morning, Mama Bear made a breakfast of piping hot porridge. It was so piping hot that the three bears decided to take a walk while their breakfast cooled. Just then, a young girl named Goldilocks came upon the cottage. Mmm, said the girl. I believe I smell fresh porridge. Perhaps I will sneak by that. into this cottage Mommy, by and that. have Mama, just a bite that. or two. By that. That's Goldilocks. By that. Those are the three bears. You have to listen to the story. All right, that's the next page. It didn't take long for Goldilocks. Oh, no, I think we skipped. Yeah, there we go. Goldilocks sneaked into the empty cottage and took a seat at the kitchen table. She took a bite of Papa Bear's porridge, but it was too hot. She took a bite of Mama Bear's porridge, but it was too cold. Then she took a bite of Baby Bear's porridge, and it was so good she ate it all. The hearty breakfast left Goldilocks feeling very full. She hoped she might find a comfortable chair in the cottage in which to relax. Goldilocks sat down on Papa Bear's chair, but it was too hard. Mama Bear's chair was too soft. Then she sat on Baby Bear's chair, and it was just right until it broke with a loud snap. Needing somewhere Run new that. to nap, Run yeah, that. she broke Baby Bear's chair. Oh. Needing somewhere new to nap, Goldilocks found the bear's beds. Papa Bear's bed was too firm. Mama Bear's bed was too squishy. But Baby Bear's bed was just right. Relax. See, she's sleeping in Baby Bear's bed right here. That's Mama Bear's bed and Papa Bear's bed. Relax. That is Mama Bear's chair. Relax. Papa Bear's chair. And that's Baby Bear's chair because she broke it. Remember? She's too big. Mm -hmm. It didn't take long for Goldilocks to fall fast asleep. Little did she know, however, that at that exact moment, the bear family was finishing their morning walk. Certain that their porridge would be cool enough to eat, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear sat down at the table for breakfast. Hmm, Papa Bear growled. It seems that someone has been eating Mommy, my porridge. That? Hold on, let's hear. Relax. Oh, don't be silly, replied Mama Relax, Bear. Mom. But then she looked down at her own Relax. porridge. That's Baby Bear. He's sad because she ate all of his porridge. Relax. That's Papa Bear and Mama Bear. Mm -hmm. But you're not listening to the story. All right, don't turn the page. We got to read this page. You can hold it down, though. Heavens to Betsy, muttered Mama Bear. It seems that someone has been eating my porridge, too. It isn't every day that one finds one's breakfast has been eaten by someone else. But this did not matter to Baby Bear, who had become quite hungry from taking such a long morning walk. It was as if he hadn't heard his mother or father complain about their porridge. Oh, dear, Baby Bear cried as he looked at his bowl. It seems that someone has been eating my porridge and has eaten it all up. Oh, no. Probably done my ears. Who do you think ate it? Goldilocks. 
Goldilocks. <gasps> Baby where about that? He's sad about his chair, remember? She broke his chair. Mm -hmm. Upset that their breakfast had been mysteriously tasted and devoured, the three bears went into the living room. Papa Bear went to his big, hard wooden chair and sat down. But something wasn't right. What? He roared, jumping up from his seat. Someone has been sitting in my chair. Mama Bear was sure that her husband was just being silly. That is, until she sat down in her own chair. Gracious, she declared. It seems that someone has been sitting in my chair, too. Pay Baby Bear was still forlorn from finding his porridge eaten all up. He was so forlorn, in fact, that he didn't hear his parents' complaints. And with a frown and a pout, he flopped onto the spot where his small chair had been. Eek! Baby Bear squealed. Someone has been sitting in my little chair, and it's smashed, and has smashed it into bits and pieces. Eaten porridge, broken chair, said Papa Bear. What is happening here? Uh-oh. The three bears decided to take a quiet nap. Decided that a quiet nap would help them all relax. Wait, announced Papa Bear. First baby bear's porridge was eaten. Then his little chair was broken. Let's all check his little bed before we retire to our own rooms. The bears entered baby bear's room. Papa, cried baby bear. Someone is sleeping in my bed. Sure enough, there was a small, blonde-haired girl napping in Baby Bear's bed, and the bears just stared in shock. It was at that moment that Goldilocks woke up. When she saw the three large bears looking down at her, she was so frightened that she leaped out the window. Goldilocks ran away as fast as she could. She never went back to that part of the forest again, and she never, ever ate another bite of porridge. The end. Did you like that story? Yeah, but that story. This new story is this Vasilisa? 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 And the Magic Doll. That'll be interesting since I can't pronounce her name correctly. So what did you think about Goldilocks? Was she bad? Yeah, right. What did yeah. she do? Yeah, a dog. And a bear. Or an orange. And he broke Goldilocks' chair. Yeah. She broke the chair and she ate the porridge. Mm -hmm. And what was she doing at the very end? She was sleeping where? In, in baby bed. In Baby Bear's bed. She was a naughty girl, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to end the video oh. now. Ooh. That looks like the Little Mermaid. That is the Little Mermaid. That's all the way at the end of the book. All right. Good night. Mm -hmm.